So listen in as we have a conversation with Gary about his struggles and all of his pain of experiencing the loss of his wife about uh, eight months previous to this. You talk to people, you talk about all these things, but you you just can't pinpoint what you need to focus on. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm really starting to get out of this. And it's it's just a positive, it's been a positive experience because because basically it's I'm starting to feel more comfortable being at home alone. Yeah. Like last night, basically took the dog up for a good long walk and that was my Friday night. Now that I'm figuring out my purpose, that I'm thinking I gotta get more of the balance of life back in. I know what I got to focus on now to move forward because basically your material, like you break it down and simplify it. And that, like, I understand now certain points that I have to work on or have to work harder on mm -hmm. to get to where I want to be. Because basically up until Christmas, like when I hit the bottom of the barrel there, like, man, it's, I had, no drive, no hope. How is what we're doing here different than counseling? I think with counseling, counseling is very generalized. Counseling is you're going in, you speak to the counselor, she listens to you, and then she tries to pinpoint a couple things that may help you out or that you should look at where working with your team you've you've done a lot of research you you put a lot of information together and broken it out into sectors that basically help you understand the different different emotions you're going through the different feelings uh, just like it, it's more I almost find it more personable than going to a psychologist because and, and like every psychologist there's yeah. that clock and that clock like I, it's like the first time I went to this this psychologist was you had to go through everything explain your whole situation I went through and did all that and then my hour was up and then I felt like garbage when I left there and and I'm thinking like why how would it have been different going to the psychologist if you could have walked in and said if you had everything from what we do and said okay this is what's going on with me would that have made a difference yeah because then yeah because like right now I understand myself more with taking your sessions so yeah, I could walk in there and say, this is where I'm struggling. This is where I need to work on. So give me some resource or information that would steer me in that path to make me to, to, to work on to so I can self yeah. better myself. Well, so, so now that psychologist or counselor, whoever can actually ask you questions pertaining to your lack of acceptance or forgiveness or whatever it is. Because you're going, obviously, I'm not accepting because I scored low there. So now that's what the psychologist or counselor is for, is to dig into you and find out why you are not forgiving and you can't accept. Yes. Right? So in the, in the in the first event, what did you discover about all the different kinds of grief? Had you ever thought about any of that? No. No. Like, to me, grief was just one thing. That was my loss. Yeah. That... Primary loss. Yeah. Like I wasn't, I wasn't, I didn't even think of anything outside of that because I've, I've never had exposure to this kind of stuff. And I, and that's, I think that's where the benefit is to a lot of people is just understanding what's all these different things you're dealing with. Cause I've just got it. I had it in one bucket. Right. And that's, I've just focused. I'm going to get rid of this bucket. And that bucket was just a piece of it. But if I've you don't, if you don't, you don't even know. Yeah, you got a barrel over there. You don't even know really what's in the bucket. You just know it's a bucket. 
Yep, exactly. Yeah. Um, so by singling out and identifying all of the things that are in the barrel, now you have a better shot at dealing with one at a time as opposed to trying to deal with it all at once. Is that fair? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, and, and basically, yeah, you can pick away at more than one thing at a time. Yeah. And instead of just focusing on one, you can work on several different things. Because yeah. this is so, about embracing change, right? We got to embrace the fact that life is going to be different and it's going to be different for you. It could be different for you again in five years and it could be different again in another five years. You could have, you could have two more completely different lives, couldn't you? And that's where this is really going to help. Because basically, I, I just, I had really no, no goals, no purpose, wasn't content, wasn't happy inside. It was just a, a negative world. So what have you learned about emotions? Remember in the second event, we went all about emotions. Uh, for the emotions, yeah. It, it basically opened my, opened my eyes up to just, like, basically, it's, it's not just dealing with the loss, but there's all these other hidden things behind that basically from the past yeah. that basically you've got to open up and just look at, reevaluate. And, and like, like you keep saying, identifying different areas. And that that's, what's really helping to, to basically get the focus on what you have to work on. Yeah. Cause if we can start actually feeling our emotions and, and naming them, it gives us that direction that we need. Now I know where to go. I know what I need to deal with. And it's only going to get better now. Like it's going to slowly, you're going to really start noticing a change. Well, and that and that's that's what I can see with doing this. I can see the change. Yeah. Where before I was just focused in that one area and I couldn't really see how things were going to change. Mm -hmm where now I can sort of look at different aspects of everything and understand where things will change to make me feel better. And basically gives you exposure to you, mm -hmm. but basically, because I, I think even, even taking the, the odd free one session to understand like the depth that you go into and the yeah. information that's there, I think that'll help people realize to themselves that basically, oh, there's more to this mm -hmm. and then basically sign up for other things. Mm -hmm. So because basically it has, to me, has been super beneficial. So how has it been interacting with the other people here on, on zoom? Like, is it, has it been okay? Has it been interesting? I think, it, I think it's been very interesting, like to interact with, with people from the UK um, and even like basically around the world mm -hmm. and basically everybody's, um, you allow everybody to basically have their say and their opinion and that opinion just opens up conversation. Mm -hmm. And I think, I think it's beneficial to everybody just to feel that they're having some input and people are listening but we're all going through the same thing aren't we that's the interesting thing is we're all suffering just we just live in different parts of the world yep yeah but we're we're all suffering but we're all not sure of how to get through it right and that's the biggest thing is just understanding all these hidden thing i wouldn't say hidden but underlying things that we have to work on to make it a whole so that we can yeah. move on. I, I, I honestly think this program, this grief thing and just things in general would be good for youth yeah. have, that are struggling. I, I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Cause basically I, I, I can see it where if I would have had this when I was younger, I definitely have a different focus on life mm -hmm. and 
definitely more positive. <laughs> Overall, though, like I, the course, all the sessions I've done with you have been, there's always something you can pull out of it. And that, that's what amazes me that they said there's just so much information out there. And basically just being able to even go back through the flip books. That's what I like. And, and with what I've done with you, even, even with a couple of people, like I, I openly discuss your, your sessions and stuff. Mm -hmm. And, and like, they just think it's great that basically I've got something like that mm -hmm. to work with or to have so that it, it's, it, and they can see that it's, it's helping big time and things are improving. So I really want to thank Gary for, for being open and honest and, and having that tough discussion with us and just exposing all of the difficulties and struggles that we can have when we're in a situation like that. Uh, the Exposing Grief program is designed to help you understand and recover and start moving forward uh, when you're faced with a, just some terrible grief that you might be facing. Thank you.